Um, well, when Brian got out of the Navy, it was a bit difficult for him to find work right away. Um, and so we sort of went where the work was. Um, so heard about some opportunities in, in Massachusetts and in, in Nevada. And so thinking we were moving across country, um, where a friend told us there were some jobs, um, we pretty much sold, you know, everything and packed up and sort of uh, went cross country. And then when we got there, there were sort of no jobs or um, quite a few hoops that you would have to jump through um, and was a long period of time that you had to apply for licenses to do different things there and um, just took too long and too much money and we couldn't really afford to do so. So we sort of started living in our car and um, um, sort of one thing led to another and we were traveling around a bit trying to make money any way we could and um, staying in our car or when we could afford a night in a hotel or something stayed in a hotel to you know shower and things like that it was pretty difficult when you don't have like a phone or an address to apply for jobs at that point um, and not a lot of family to um, to do uh, cell phones or, or phones through or addresses or anything so it was pretty difficult and then um, uh, he heard about a job that he got here in Spotsylvania um, a guy said you know I totally understand the situation you're in and sort of um, went in and said to the guy you know we'd hate to drag this on but can we have the interview today and the guy was nice enough and understood and gave him an interview and pretty much hired him on the spot so that sort of led to um, him actually finally getting a job and then um, through various friends and just meeting people uh, we found a friend of ours who was willing to rent us uh, a small apartment, small studio, um, and let us pay the deposit over time and let us pay the rent. Um, so it was really just catching a break here and there, um, but it's difficult to do. There aren't very many of those people out there that are willing to take a chance on people because you get burned too many times. So um, Germain has been fantastic. Um, I was able to finally just put my, I hate to say put my foot down, but I, I finally thought, you know, I, I'd been doing retail for quite a while and thought, you know, if this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go and at least try it and get my degree and um, took my first semester. There were some developmental classes, which weren't a turn off. I like being updated on stuff and sort of reminded of, hey, this is what you forgot. Um, and I did really, really well in my first semester and I thought, wow, you know, this wasn't an option in high school. I didn't really like school. So um, then my fall semester, I was able to get scholarships and it made going a lot easier because you can concentrate on going to college instead of where your next, you know, how are you going to pay tuition or how are you going to buy that book or how are you going to buy the backpack that you need or um, it just made it easier. And thankfully, there are many people that will donate their time and their money to the educational scholarships and so they benefit people like me and you know other people that are in similar situations that maybe can't afford everything out of pocket all at one time. So far so good. Um, last semester was my first semester and having been away from schooling for going on past 20 years I thought it went well and Kim suggested that I start off with courses that I would find easier just so I can get back into the swing of things and with that in mind I took four classes and so far have got straight A's so I would say it's going well but I'm going to be coming into the meat of the courses that I need to take so hopefully I can keep it up but I don't know. Yeah it, it was something that you know I'm the first person in my entire family to graduate high school um, let alone step foot into college without making a joke that they went through college in the front door and out the back. Um, my dad didn't graduate high school my mom didn't get past the fourth grade so um, for my dad just even him being able to say that I graduated high school was great but I knew it was sort of for me a disappointment to just that's where it ended at first but then my first semester came around and my second semester came around and I started getting you know 
on the dean's list and on the president's list and um, now in the honor society he was that's the first thing he did to all of his friends was go and brag and he was really excited about being able to you know say hey my kid my kid does this and she's really really smart so um, it's nice to see him be able to be happy and, and brag a little so spring I, mean, I took some classes over the summer that um, if I buckle down hopefully in the fall and the spring and do well and um, I'll graduate a semester earlier than I planned and um, I found an awesome job working actually for Germana at their workforce center and I really love that job um, so hopefully staying on and working with Germana in any capacity um, is what I really want to do in the future. I like helping other students and having a student background and working for the school gives me sort of a unique perspective on what they're going through the, the entire process and not just you know being an 18 year old who graduated high school but also being an adult that is coming back to school after a long period of time. Being that I'm going for engineering I'm going to finish my associate to Germana and then transfer to a four-year school where I plan on becoming an electrical engineer. So I've got at least another four years of schooling to go through because, you know, working and taking care of family and all that plus schoolwork, you know, I can only take 12, 14 credits at a time, which slows me down a little bit, but in the end it's going to be worth it.